Hi, we're Respiro, and essentially what we're trying to do is approach the air check challenge. And what that is is essentially trying to um, wed the data that you have from all NASA's satellite imagery through the Gibbs program with a whole bunch of crowdsourced data on like respiratory illnesses and illnesses in general um, to do with air quality. And so what we did there is we used the Twilio and Alexa APIs as like a crowdsourcing platform. And so what we were able to do was like use these platforms to crowdsource data and then relate that with the data that is available as part of NASA's Gibbs uh, interface. All right, so we, we leverage Twilio and Alexa as crowdsourcing tools. And so that essentially works by um, us asking people through text or through their Alexa to go, oh, um, are you having any respiratory problems? And I was going to demonstrate, but there aren't any power books. Um, but um, essentially what you do there is you get information about whether or not they're having respiratory illnesses, and then you can map that to an image. Um, and the public can like report anything you want. And we use the Wolfram APIs to process that graph information into a um, map that you could actually heat see, like a heat map. Okay, <coughs> so uh, for the uh, environmental data, we uh, were able to leverage the impressive database from uh, NASA, the database for uh, uh, satellite imagery uh, called Gibbs. Um, basically, we uh, focused on, on on the maps that were showing um, the uh, concentration levels of uh, major air pollutants like uh, carbon monoxide, uh, sulfur dioxide, ozone, um, and we also looked at uh, uh, dust score because we know that uh, <coughs> dust may, may have uh, an impact on, on human health. Um, so the idea is to uh, compare the heat maps uh, generated using uh, Wolfram with, with uh, the, the maps provided by NASA in order to identify some correlations and, and raise uh, awareness. And so this is essentially a platform architecture. You get um, input in through voice and SMS through Twilio and Alexa. Uh, Alexa works through the AWS Lambda event rhythm system. And then it goes through IBM's Bluemix, and what that allows us to do is actually um, programmatically like store all of the events that happen. So then you can have that graph data for later use if you want to analyze it. And I mean, that's for me, uh, also we analyze it through Wolfram as I mentioned before, and we use the Gibbs imagery. Mm -hmm. And like the real like importance, I think, of having that information on hand is like if you have a crowdsourcing platform, first of all, you can use all that data, use machine learning, and actually find new correlations between like respiratory illnesses and uh, administrative data that we don't actually have for specifically places in the world that don't have internet access. I think that that's like one of the like huge, huge things about the Twilio API that's not talked about so often is that like a lot of the world doesn't have internet access. And so if you connect them to all of this information, all of this health resources through SMS, you're able to um, further improve people's health outcomes as a whole and also their health outcomes through both notifying them and their data. This is the uh, Gibbs API um, with different atmospheric data that we can actually go through. And like, this is New York here, Manhattan. And so, like, that's just like switching through the different parameters we can do. Um, and also, um, the Wolfram API, uh, like sulfur dioxide, etc. There's not very much here. But like, if you go to the like Wolfram image, then also you can, oh. The Wolfram image, this is actually a plot point of like some like folk holes made to the API. All right. Sweet. Do we have any uh, Q&As? Does anyone have any questions? I, we, we're out of time. What's yes. up? So when, you, uh, have, so when you have people enter uh, data about their symptoms and yeah. things, 
Is it based on like a questionnaire or is it like a volunteer thing? People just text when they're feeling bad or something? What we did is we used uh, Landa to map like different words, different scores. Like um, for Alexa, I'd go like, oh, health, health report, my asthma is terrible. And so that would assign a score of like five because terrible is a strong word. And so in that way, we'd be able to programmatically like show on the map like larger nodes are for more respiratory illnesses. And then you can use that data to um, the gradients, the issues. Great, thank you. <coughs> awesome, good job guys.